Okay, shall we? <laughs> we shall. All right. So today's guest is Mr. Rabia Saloum. Hello. It's not the first time you bless us with your presence in our studios. Is that right? It's not the first time that you bless me by hosting me. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Grape Jones is your latest music project uh, after stopping Slaughterhouse towards 2011, I guess. Yes. Uh, you disappeared from the music scene for like seven years and then came back with a single and now came back even stronger with Grave Jones, more synthesizer, harder rock, harder uh, vocals, new screaming techniques. Uh, welcome, Mr. Rabia Saloum, Mr. Grave Jones, to Bonjour. our morning show. I'm happy to, to be here. Thank you. Rabia, you're literally everything. You're like a teacher, a writer, a singer, a musician, a composer, everything. But you, so you, I said you're a teacher, so you teach uh, philosophy at the, the American University of Beirut. And I really need to know, Rabia, what is life? This is a very common uh, question asked by people who have no idea what we do as philosophers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when, when I run into somebody in a bar and they go, they say, uh, oh, I love philosophy too. I have a lot of ideas about life. And I'm like, that means you're a functional human being. You're an adult. You should have ideas about life. That's no. The way, well, well, it's not. All right. So you kindly <laughs> asked us not to mention your relationship, your past relationship, actually, with Christian Seward, but but you on, just it's, did. It's it's yeah. I c I can't resist. It's such a such a crazy story. Have some, have some self control, man. Of course you can resist. Come uh, on, you're you a grown. Know I can't. What's do the deal you know with Christian Seward? Do you know anything about self control, <laughs> Mr. Jones? I I do. I'm controlling myself right now. Not to do what like kick me in the face <laughs> or. Je commence à avoir peur. It's a scary interview. Uh, I, I'd rather not talk about uh, Kristen. Okay, okay. Thank you. I think you're going to hate this question as well. Uh, between writing, philosophy, and music, if you had to pick one for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Uh, given, given the fact that they are, can be related, of course, and no, they all they're, work they're together. Not. To me, to me they're, they're three very Even separate better. parts in my brain. Perfect. Uh, I, w I would pick music. You would pick music? Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. And would it always be as Grave Jones for now? Or um, you I like mean, going into different monikers depending on the state that you are in? I mean, Grave Jones was just convenient because uh, y you know that you have to be B because of what you mentioned earlier, the fact that I do many things mm -hmm. and I kind of wanted to keep the uh, musical persona on its mm -hmm. own. So, you know, Grave Jones felt like a, that's the music guy. <laughs> all right. But, but I'm but also Grave Jones all the time. I exactly. think it's good if you can it's clarify to our listeners what you're going to be doing on the on the show, because you have so many interests and I I'm sure they're probably confused. <laughs> Can you tell us more about your segment on Sunny Side Up? What are you going to be talking to us about? Well, here's the funny part is that I don't really know what I'm going <laughs> to be talking about. I know that it's a part of this uh, category that you guys call the voices. It's going to be... Um, I'm, a, I'm a quite angry person mm -hmm. in my head. And I express it a lot in, 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 in writing and in, some, in the form of some rants. Um, which uh, the management thought would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Did you start writing the first episode? Uh, yes. What was it about? It was about um, these people who tell you that it's okay to feel how you're feeling. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you, <laughs> sir, for that <laughs> approval. <laughs> <laughs> they piss me off. Are they Why? worse than the people who deny your feelings or like as bad or... Who deny your feelings? They're like, why the hell are you feeling like this, man? Shit, halak or whatever. Oh, yeah, I think they're worse. They're worse. Huh? Yeah, I think they're worse. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very easily pissed off by things. I, mean, I, I feel that I should say that I'm working on it, but to be honest, I'm not. Okay. But normally you're supposed to say, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on myself. I'm going to be a better person. And is this also a subject or those subjects that you're going to go into? Is this something you write about as well in your music? sometimes no okay. no 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 music is a completely different area of my brain it has nothing to do with 
any of the writing or any of the intellectual activities. So even uh, the subjects change when you're writing music. Yeah, or? yeah, everything. Okay. Uh, it's completely, completely different. I'm almost another, um, another person. So with Slaughterhouse, you were writing mostly about. Uh, it's always about heartbreaks. I'm much more sensitive to um, intimate and personal misery than mm -hmm. to yeah. Yeah. grand themes. That's why it's very difficult for me and it's impossible for me, for example, to do like some artists who uh, can write songs about uh, the country or about mm -hmm. a cause or about... I don't know how to do that because I'm just built this way. I'm more sensitive to really intimate misery. Personal like, feelings. Yeah, like loneliness of loneliness and uh, needing someone who doesn't want you back or mm -hmm. someone leaving or missing or longing. And these, I'm very sensitive to this stuff. And uh, it's, I mean, they've proven to be an almost never ending source of inspiration. I can always find. So something same for uh, Grave Jones right now. Yeah. Right now with Grave Jones developing. Uh, you're one of the artists I know personally that has been developing themselves before the pandemic, but has um, started promoting themselves as soon as the pandemic started. How is that like tour wise, for example, I remember with Slaughterhouse, you were going on tours, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to France mm -hmm. and going to like amazing scene. How is that now in the current moment with Grave Jones? Oh, well, it's, it's extremely frustrating because one mm -hmm. of the main reasons that I um, went back to music was because I wanted to play live and I've struggled uh, for a while trying to put together uh, a lineup. Mm -hmm. You know that. Yeah. And uh, when I finally got this piece, the six piece band together that I was happy with and everybody was committed, everybody had the time, everybody had the energy, everybody had the motivation to be involved in this and the pandemic happened. And all of a sudden, not only we can tour, but we can barely rehearse. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's very frustrating for me because that's that was my main drive uh, to go back to a more rock sound is also because I missed playing with people. Uh, and I, uh, it's cool. I have a studio at home, so I mm -hmm. do enjoy recording the recording process, the writing process. But then when these songs, uh, when they're not performed live, that's it's a it's a different, there's something missing it's from a the different experience. type of animal. Uh, yeah. j just playing with other people like and uh, you mentioned earlier that I'd. I'd been away from music uh, for seven years. Now, let me tell you, in, in February, I was in New York and I knew that I was coming back the following week to a rehearsal here. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it and I caught myself being in New York, having the time of my life and then thinking, oh, wow, I can't wait to be back in Beirut next week just because I have a fucking rehearsal. Just yeah. because I'm going to be in a room with other musicians. Playing music live. Playing music, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's really what I miss the most. And I realized that that's what had been really dragging me down. Yeah. Uh, it's that I wasn't doing, I was completely neglecting and trying to reject a part of myself that, uh, that I thought I could just Live let go of forever. Yeah. For you at that, which moment every time makes you remember, like, I want to, I want to be there right now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What? I have a lot of crazy stories, obviously, but um, <laughs> it was uh, huh? something appropriate for radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, very honestly, I think when you're an up and coming band and you're touring, mm -hmm. um, you go to places, you go to a lot of places where people don't know you or sometimes you do festivals where people are there for a lot of bands and you're one of them. But you also sometimes go to places where there's enough people who know you in the crowd. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing because my favorite moments were when we had a crowd that basically knew the songs. And, and then I just intimate. didn't have to sing because they, they were singing them. So that those uh, those were my favorite moments. It's also something that I wondered uh, when I was a kid and listening to my favorite artists. It was I was always fascinated by that, by the idea that these guys have no idea who I am. But they, they know wrote song. something that is making me feel things. Like you know, you know, music is amazing because it can, uh, it can make you feel sad. It can make you feel happy. It can make you feel less alone, or it can make you feel isolated. It d depends, and it just can make you feel things. And when it's written by someone you don't know, and they and they don't know you exist, and yet there's this connection. When I got into music, that's really all I wanted. What uh, that's. That was the question I was asking myself. 
what to would relate it be to like people to, and... to, to write something and just have it have a life of its own mm -hmm. and be part of someone's biography and soundtrack of their life and and th that's why now I get extremely happy when I get random messages or tags from people who are listening to stuff that I'd forgotten that I'd written mm -hmm. like, but are still relevant ago. always it still means something to them you mm -hmm. know and that makes me happy to see that okay I managed to create something that has a life of its own and that means something to other people and um, that's a great source of satisfaction yeah so to end this on a positive note because it was positive all the way but i Th mean there are no positive notes okay sorry no it's almost but you can try <laughs> to end on a note yeah. <laughs> yes so what are your wishes for the upcoming year this upcoming project your upcoming project do you have something to tell our listeners i don't really i'm, I'm i mean neutral I just want things to get back to a semblance of normalcy so at least we know what we can work with. Yeah, getting back on stage maybe. It's just been impossible. I mean, it's going to pass. Obviously, we're going to look back at this and say, oh, these were shitty 18 months or, or 24 months. It will definitely pass. It's not. I don't think it's the world changed or anything. People just are so adaptable. It'll pass and ev everything will go back to the way it was. Uh, with obviously some a few different things here and there because it was quite the wake-up call but in the meantime yeah. it's just been frustrating trying to plan anything I just want to go back on stage I want to play with the band I want to I, ha I have a lot of new music in 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 the studio just waiting to be out but once it's out and past this satisfaction of oh the song is out and uh, you got your little 48 hours of attention you yeah know, you need the stage to confirm uses. it kind yeah. of yeah yeah yeah. you want to be able to perform these songs and that's connect with people properly yeah. not in front yeah. of a tiny ass lens yeah <laughs> that's it that's what i that those are my wishes for myself it's uh, already a lot I think <laughs> you're asking like too much from the world <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now just to be able to do a fucking concert <laughs> right <laughs> it's too much thing. we can't, I can't do that it's, 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 it feels so it's far it's been a year yeah. already yeah. 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 It's been a year. but like I said I think it's a matter of months we're getting impatient but uh, everything is going to go back to normal at some point hopefully in the world <laughs> not talking about the country what is normal Aslan what normal is life <laughs> normal is something that stops surprising you yeah yeah so, Rabia Saloum, Mr. Grave Jones, yes, thank sir. you for joining us on our thank morning you. show. Your segment is going to be called... It's going to be called What the Fuck. <laughs> 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 but you're going to bleep that. I probably am. Yeah. No, I, I love bleeps mm -hmm. be because, because, you know, even when you bleep or mute a word, well, the curse is still there. Yeah. yeah. And, but it's also a point against the current trend of policing language the whole mm -hmm. time and like no don't use that word use that one but and everybody knows nipple. what you're yeah. thinking so you're not actually addressing the issue you're just sugar coating the surface and mm -hmm. thinking that you're uh, solving the, PC, the world's problem yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah solving the world's problems by policing people's words yeah uh, you know um, words are symptoms that's what I want to say words are symptoms they are signs whoa let's end it here I think so this is the final <laughs> word I, I'm, I'm going to ask you to like say it very close to the mic. Words are symptoms. They are signs. <laughs> Have a nice creepy day. Have a nice what? Creepy, creepy day. day. That's <laughs> why you wear headphones. <laughs> Have a nice creepy day, everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>